Welcome back to Simply Saffron. I'm Pooja and today I'm going to share one of the recipes which is a very traditional dessert um, which is called the rhubarb pie. Now the rhubarb pie is a very summery dessert and it actually originated from the Europe, European country like uh, we, are, we are not sure it's either from Germany or from UK and it's very popular in UK but in the US too like we are really uh, love rhubarb pie and it's in especially in summer when there is an abundance of rhubarb and now rhubarb is a very typical hard food so we usually add like strawberries with it to add the sweetness to it and uh, so this one this recipe is, has a very buttery pie crust and has a very ooey ooey like uh, the rhubarb feeling i'm sure you'll love it so let's start with the dough first to start with the pie dough we need just these items that is flour, sugar, salt, ice water and butter. Now the butter should be chilled. Uh, if you can, you can just uh, freeze it uh, for a few minutes and then take it out. So we are going to cut it into very small pieces. So I'm done with chopping the butters, like cutting it into the smaller they are the better and um, we want the butter to be ice chilled because it will create small pockets of air in the dough which will help to give the crust so once this is done we'll put aside the butter we'll add this is two and a half cup of all purpose flour so i'm going to add about two tablespoons of sugar this is optional if you don't want that's fine sorry that's one tablespoon of sugar and this is one teaspoonful of salt mix them all together now we are going to add the butter into it now you can use it a food processor to cut the butter pulse it for a few minutes and it'll be done but i'm showing the traditional way like you can use a pastry cutter too i'm using my hands um just rub the butters between your fingers so i have uh, mixed all the butter and you can see how crumbly it looks just like bread crumbs so now we are going to take about six tablespoon of iced water yeah, i think that's it you don't want to work a lot with the dough just light hands be good so we are going to take a little bit of flour and transfer this to this working surface so this this will make like two nine inch pie sheet so we are going to divide it into roughly like half and we make two doughs like this take a cling wrap we will take the cling wrap and take one portion of the dough tight like this same thing with the other one. And we are going to put it in the fridge for at least an hour. I I would do it, I would uh, recommend to do it for two hours. And you can leave it on the like overnight too. And uh, th like this it can stay in the fridge for three days or you can freeze it for your next use. Now since we have put the dough, pie dough in the fridge for 2 hours, in the meantime we are going to make the filling. So um, I'm going to chop the rhubarb and just wash them clean and at both the ends. And then we are going to chop it into half an inch pieces. 
I have chopped up all the rhubarb. So this is about three cups of uh, rhubarb. So I'm going to chop about three cups of stock strawberries. And um, I've turned the oven on at 400 degree Fahrenheit. So let's chop the strawberries. The same, about half an inch. We have chopped up the strawberries. So we have three cups of strawberries and three cups of rhubarb. Now we are going to show you the next step. So we are going to take the rhubarb, put it in a bowl, strawberries. Now we are going to take about half a cup of white sugar. Half a cup of light brown sugar. Half a teaspoonful of salt. And about one fourth cup of cornstarch. This is what is going to like stick every the fruits together because strawberry has a tendency of like eating water a lot so this will thicken it up traditionally like they used to have tapioca um but uh cornstarch works fine and this is about two tablespoons of orange juice you can use lemon juice too so no, anything works we need to add that and then we're going to mix all of them together. We are going to then let it rest for 15 minutes and then we'll show you what to do next. In the meanwhile, if you have the pie crust in the fridge, you need to take it out to just uh, soften it up a little bit. So we have rolled the pie dough and slowly we are going to wrap it around the rolling pin just like that. And then we'll take the pie plate and put it on top of it and slowly unroll it. So we have, I'm going to tap this, like um, spread it and make sure it covers all the edges. Now we're going to spoon the fruit into it. Make sure you drain the fruit because you don't want to bring the water the, into it too because this is the strawberry is all, already going to need some water so, so I put all the fruits in now I'm going to leave this aside and take the second dough and we're going to roll it and then I'll show you how to do the lattice work so we have rolled the second dough and now we are going to make around like uh, 8 chocolate chips. Now we are going to just place it on top. Right now we are just going to place it like this. And the second one, what we will do, like pick up this one and this one and lay it like this. And the second one, we'll do the alternate one. So we'll pick up this one and lay it below it. Same thing here. There you go. The last trip we are having. So this one went under. So this will go over and then under this is over and so now we have all smoothed it out now we are going to do if you want you can just make a small like a fringe on the end like a fringe just push your finger like this and give it a fringe uh, we have actually put some butter inside too like you can cut a little bit butter and put it in the filling which I forgot so I have put it later and then you're going to beat one egg 
with some milk. Put on top of it. This is uh, to give it a shine. So we have brushed the whole pipe like this. Now we are going to add a little bit of raw sugar on sprinkle just a little bit of raw sugar on top. And then we'll bake this. We'll put it on the top of a, um, a, a baking sheet. And then we are going to bake it for 30 minutes at 400 degree Fahrenheit. Then we are going to lower the temperature to 350 degree uh, Fahrenheit. And then we are going to bake again for 20 to 30 minutes. So this is my pie. I have taken it out and it has been cooling in the wire rack for last 40 minutes. So I'm going to, it looks pretty good. And so I'm going to cut it and see how it looks from inside. To take out this piece, see how it looks. You can see the red jewels, the rhubarb, and the strawberry, and the shiny custom top. I'm gonna put it here, and put this aside. I'm going to put, uh, serve it with a scoop of ice cream, vanilla ice cream, you can put whipping cream too, whipped cream too. There you go. And put a strawberry on top, just like that, and your pie is ready. And there you go your strawberry rhubarb pie and you can see the red rhubarb pie um, rhubarb and strawberries and the shiny pie crust and you can see how tender it looks and hopefully you'll make this in south this summer and um thanks for watching please do subscribe and like my youtube channel simply saffron see you next week bye